Good morning. Welcome back to our channel UiPath RPA Learners. Hope all are doing great. Okay. So as part of today's topic, we are going to see what is array, how to initialize an array, how to access the array values in UiPath. Okay. So before we go into use case, so if you are watching our channel for the first time, please subscribe, like and comment our channel. Okay. Let's go to UiPath. So I'm going to use a sequence. So before I proceed with the use case, I just wanted to give you an intro on what is array actually. So array is one of the variable type in UiPath. So array will hold a multiple values of a same type. So what is that? For example, if you declare an uh, you know uh, uh, integer array, it will hold a in uh, you know the number values, many uh, you know the multiple number values. If you are using a string array, it will hold a, a number of string values. Uh, you know the UI path is providing your boolean array as well, where you can store your uh, you know boolean values as well as a part of array. So what is array? Array is one of the variable type in UI path which holds the multiple values of same type, that is array, okay? Let's see. To explain you today, I'm going to use a assign activity, okay? Let's use an assign activity, okay? So, in the assign activity, I'm going to declare a variable, okay? Array names. So, I'm just going to open my advanced editor and let's see how do we declare the values. So, in the double course, in the curly braces, you can declare the array values. For example, Divya, John, Ram, Priya. Thick. Okay, see, uh, I have declared a what is this five values in the array. Okay, so if you see it here, it is showing an error stating cannot assign the type of system dot string array to a system dot string. What it says, hey, you have declared an array of elements that is a array of string values to just an string array. Because when you created a variable, if you check in the variable type, it is created with the string variable type. So, but we have declared a multiple values, not a single value. So, we have to change our variable type to array of string. Select a system, you know, sister array of string and then choose your which string type that you are going to use, which array type that you are going to use it. The T is nothing but the type. So, click on string which we because we declared a string values okay so we know now how you can create an array variable and how you can declare the values let's see how to initialize it to initialize it you have to use new then the string array i'm using string and then put one moon braces and then curly braces so this is how you have to initialize okay so now we declared an array variable we have declared the values as well and we initialized an array okay so to give you an example right so i will assign so let me tell you so how to access this array values that you should understand right so that let's see how to do that when you open it, you have a list of elements. How do I access it? Maybe when I iterate it, you can use a far reach and then iterate it. Or like if I wanted to access the values, how do you do it? So you should understand clearly your array values is contains an indexing. It starts from the zero index. So your first value is index zero. John is index one. This is index two, index three and index four so on like that so your array values will be stored in the form of index values you can access array values by index values okay let's see how to do that so only one thing that you have to remember each values have a certain index so first starts from the zero indexing okay that's it so let's use a message box now so i'll use a message box let's see 
I will use array of names. That is my variable name. Okay. So consider that I wanted to access the first value. Okay. So what should I put inside the bracket? You have to put your indexing zero. So what actually it will happen when I uh, run the file? So this should ideally display the the first value which is present here. See the via. Got it? How you can access the values in the array? So you can access by using your indexing. Okay. So let declare one more uh, uh, async statement so that uh, it will be very clear for all of you. If you're watching for the first time, if you're understanding the concept of array. So here I'm going to declare a array of, you know, places. Okay. I just open an advanced editor. So now, so I'll give Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai. Okay, so I've given a array of places in the another variable so the same thing what you have to do you have to change your variable to a array of string okay so i'm just changing to an array of string and then the same way you will initialize your see uh, if you are declaring a value directory in the variable here in the variable section so you no need to Directly, it will take it actually. But we are using an assign statement and declaring a value there. So I'm initializing it here. Okay. Okay, I'm done. So let's see how we can concatenate between these two array values and display. So for example, here we have declared a array of zero, that is array names of zero, that is Divya. Okay. So consider, so if I see, uh, Divya uh, Chennai, this is the zero indexing again here starts from the another array, right? So consider plus put a few plays actually one uh, one spacing I'm giving. So what I'm doing this is I'm actually concatenating it. So just put plus. So to give a spaces I'm giving a uh, in a double quotes one single space and I can give a plus here. I'm going to give an art coded value is from and then plus one space I'm giving and then plus what I have to give I have to mention actually Divya is from Chennai so this array of zero will take a Divya and I is from have declared an hard coded value and I have to take value from the second array so I'm using the variable that is the array of places that is my second variable right array of places inside the brackets you have to mention the indexing value so the chennai is present in the first value so this is zero index correct i'm mentioning zero index so what will happen now when i execute is ideally it will in this array list it will take divya in this array list it will take chennai it will concatenate and give the value of divya is from chennai so let's see you can see it here. Divya is from Chennai. Okay. So I hope you all understand. So, uh, so to reiterate from the beginning. So in this today's session, we saw how to declare an array variable, how to declare a values in the array and how to initialize an array, how to access the array values by indexing and how we can concatenate and provide the value. Okay. I hope this session is interesting. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.